Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. I'm excited to have Coach Budenholzer from the Atlanta Hawks to talk about offense. So I'm just kind of curious, from day one, did you have your offensive philosophy ready to go, blueprinted, mapped out to teach your, your players starting right off the bat? Um, I would say the majority of it, yes. I think you kind of learn your players as you go a little bit and you you know, adjust and tweak it um, based on their skills and what you see them, you know, doing well and most comfortable. But, you know, the main basic principles, uh, we had a very good idea what we wanted to do. We uh, have been breaking down a lot of your offensive sets recently. And uh, as a triangle offense coach, I'm noticing a lot of triangle uh, influence. Um, how conscious is that and how, you know, was that like uh, on purpose? Yeah, you know, I think um, the triangle was a big influence on me. I think all the success that um, you know, Coach Jackson had and, you know, with the Bulls and with the Lakers and that was when I was in a little bit of my young formative age and, you know, we were trying to beat those teams and trying to figure out how to stop them and I think there's a lot of good, solid, fundamental basketball principles that, um, that every coach, every offense um, could steal from. Are there particular pieces that you like the most that you put in when you, when you saw what they were doing? Um, you know, there's a handful of them. I think, you know, it's at the end of the day, the spacing and the angles and the ability to get the ball to the post, you know, both to score and to pass and playing through the elbows. And, um, you know, I just think that a lot of the angles, a lot of the spacing are, like I said, just good, solid, fundamental things. So when we notice, particularly with pinch posts, what I love about what you do with it is instead of passing the ball to pinch post and cutting around, which I think you do a little bit of, you'll have that become a flare screen and off of, the, off of the curl from the corner. I've never seen Tex Winter or ever anybody do that kind of an action. So did you just sort of evolve that on your own? Yeah, that's where I, I think there are some things that are triangle and there's some other things that are you know, totally different. And you know, all the years in San Antonio and, and the way the offense evolved there and you know, um, observing and learning and being a part of that process and you know, adding some of our own stuff. Um, you know, so it's it's kind of a mix of, of different things. It's it's by no means just triangle. Are you a part method or a whole method coach when you're installing these things? Um, we do both. You know, we we kind of teach it in the whole, and then we'll you know go and break it down in parts and um, get them to better understand the reads and the different options and the variety that we want to encourage and um, how they use the offense. Um, so we do both. Um, is it a stress for you when you're shooting your three-point shots that the, that the pass comes from the angle of the low post or from the basket? Because it looks that way to me where so many of your shots are coming inside out, which obviously makes an easier shot. Is that a focus for your, for your team? Yeah, you know, I think hopefully we're getting shots a lot of different ways and we're making it difficult on the defense to know where we're coming from. But I think using the post and, and the angles that it creates and the things it does to the defense and you know their positioning and how they play um, you know can create opportunities that hopefully we take advantage of.